You're here. That's great. Well, today is the first day of school for thousands of Central Ohio students at Columbus City Schools. There are some exciting things happening this year for the district after passing a levy. NBC4's Olivia Fecto is live at Columbus Downtown High School with a recap of the efforts to get kids at school this morning. Yeah, good morning, Ellie. More than 50,000 students across the district are back at school this morning, partway through their first day of classes. For bus drivers and food service workers here in the district, the morning started even earlier than it did for the kids. The first day of school started dark and early at the Freebus Avenue bus garage. More than 350 drivers readied their buses and began their routes. More than 800 buses rolled out to pick up children this morning. For the first few days, parents are encouraged to walk their children to the bus stop to make sure they get on the bus safely. We have new people registering all the time to go to school, and so we have to adjust the routes the first couple of weeks. Good morning! Before classes began, Hey, it's you! You're here! That's great! Students at South High School were welcomed into the building with a clap in. Don't drop that GPA! Good morning, good morning. At the district's food production center. We've been preparing um, all summer. Actually, it never stops. Workers are preparing more than 40,000 meals a day for 71 elementary schools. This year, CCS is continuing a push to source more of the food it serves from Ohio. Food that is fresher, is healthier, uh, retains more of the nutrients. It's better for our students. It's also a chance for them to learn where their food comes from, making even lunchtime a teaching opportunity. And now that school is back in session, we do want to remind everyone to make sure you drive more slowly through those school zones because kids are now walking to school every morning. Reporting live at Columbus Downtown High School, Olivia Fecto, NBC4. All right, Olivia, thank you. Now at one point in Columbus, a handful of classrooms had air conditioning. Now all 500 students who walk through the doors at Hamilton STEM Academy will be comfortable. It is one of three Columbus City schools starting the new school year with a new air conditioning system. Last year, voters approved a $125 million levy to make upgrades across the district. The AC there is one of the first projects to be completed. This as part of what is being dubbed Operation Fix It. These buildings can get hot, especially at the beginning of the school year, but now that problem is solved. It's important that kids of all, all areas and all, all ages get to work in a, in a setting that's comfortable. And we're just excited that, um, you know, Hamilton's being lifted up by the community. Again, this is just the first of many projects in Operation Fix It. To see what else is coming to your child's school, just head over to our website, NBC4i.com. Now, some other schools heading back today in Lancaster. It is the first day for kindergarten through ninth grade. Grades 10 through 12 go back tomorrow. Kindergarten starts today in Canal Winchester. The rest of the students are already back to school. And all students at Southwestern City Schools start today as well.